Your school has your back in the classroom. Your team has your back on the field and on the court. But without your commitment, you wouldn't be where you are today. Since 1932, Bank of Clarendon has known it takes a team to keep your dreams on track and that you are the most important piece of that equation. So when you're ready to invest in your future, come see your local team first. Your, your community, community, your, your bank, 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 bank of, of Clarendon. Clarendon. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Yeah, I've been playing ever since I was old enough to walk playing t-ball at Rick Field and coming out here. I've been playing here ever since 6th grade, 7th grade. I like hunting and fishing, but there's no any other sports I play, it's just baseball. Messing around, being stupid, got in a fire, spent 14 days, I think, in the hospital with deep second degree burns on hands and in my face. They didn't really know. I got in there on a Saturday night and they said it'd be Monday morning before they know anything. They said I could be in there for three days, I could be out there in the three months. February 25th, I believe it was a Saturday, um, Saturday night, you know, it was an accident, a burning accident. That Sunday morning, we got it um, spread through town that Abel was in an accident and it was some beer burns and he was in the University in Charleston. So we, when myself and Coach Floyd, one of our assistant coaches, left that morning and went to the hospital to get there to find his family. I didn't really do anything that first week. I was having so many pain meds, I just slept the whole first week pretty much. I didn't think we would, I'd be back playing this year. None of us did. We kind of came back fast. I think it was 25 days, I think. Deep second degree burns, they had to make sure it all healed up, get the new skin growing. It was like a, they compared it to a newborn baby. This is brand new skin. They had to get it started going and skin grass. And it was right up to the second weekend. After the second weekend, they said once, we y'all feel like we can't do anything else for you, we can send you home because my mom's a nurse and she knows how to do that kind of stuff. And they just had to, she would come in there, the nurses would show her what to do. And once she did that, learn how to do that, we were good to go. The first couple of days, I couldn't really do anything because the nerves in it. Like, it just kind of stung a little bit when I was put it underwater or anything like that. But after that, you could, you can't nick it on anything. After the, like, to the first month, you couldn't nick it on anything. It'd start bleeding, skin would break. And then I like, can tell right there that was all blisters and stuff and they just had to come back and grow back. After I got out of the hospital they gave it about two weeks and I was back out here playing. And you know that, that was exciting you know to see God's work from a hospital bed not knowing where that young man's future was playing to in the basis carrying double the top all game. You know and, and we went on to win that game. A couple of days later, we played at Green Sea, Florida with a great um, district championship. You know, and the coaches said, who would we get the ball to? You know, we were other two guys that throw a lot. Let's give it to Caleb. He deserves it. You know, Caleb went out and pitched in the district championship that day, pitched six in the third innings. He had six strikeouts, zero walks, and gave up five hits, and we won three to one. Just pitched his heart out. You got to buckle up and play your best and make small things count. Whenever I came out here this year, after I got hurt, it meant a lot more. It's knowing, thinking about it, I didn't ever know if I'd pick up a ball again when I was sitting in the hospital, coming out here and playing and pitching in big games like that. Uh, it was mainly my hit and I had to wait out until after spring break for my hands to heal so I could swing the bat. I think it was this hand right here, it got burnt the whole way up in here and it was all new skin. Every time I swing the bat, it would just rip it. It kind of hurt a little bit because they were doing real good at the beginning. They, one of my mom's friends flies in the game so we could watch it in the hospital and then they checked on me every day. I couldn't ask for any more out of them. I had endless support to them. They did fundraisers, everything you could ask for. And they came to the hospital. I had at least probably four or five visitors every day. And it was just more than we could imagine. Well, I've been playing with them ever since I was five years old. We played travel ball together, baseball all year round pretty much. But we know each other, know how to play, know pretty much how we're going to play. Just got to roll with it. Yeah, you pretty much know what everybody can do and what they can't do. You just got to 
fill in what they can't do, do what they can, just back and forth, give and take. We were all just hoping I would get out of there all right, that's what the main concern was, but we had the first week off so I didn't get behind too bad, just getting back out here and doing, getting back to the normal.